this video I'm going to talk about uh, WAMP server and uh, how to get you started with that and how to download it and everything like that. The download is just the same as you download anything but uh, WAMP server is good for, for your PHP files but also for at some point if you're really interested or you use web design or, or web development as a hobby or even as a pro, um, you're going to come into WordPress. And this is where um, WAMP server really helps you out as well. So anyway, if we just, um, I'll put all these details in the description. Um, and this here is wampserver.com slash English uh, version. There's a French one and something else. Anyway, it's all about installing. And what WAMP server is, is Apache PHP MySQL for Windows, okay? There is another one called ZAMP. Oh, that's how I pronounce it. Um, and this is for Windows, Linux, and um, Apple uh, um, or operating system. Um, I've used this before. I do prefer WAMP, but, you know, either one does a similar job. So anyway, we'll get to the download and you just go here. So you have a choice of a 32 bits um, or your 64, depending on which computer you have. Okay, so okay, so you got that download WAMP server 64 bit um, WAMP server, and it goes on about warnings about this, that, and the other. Download directly, okay. And uh, WAMP server, your download will start shortly. Um, Problems with the download, and then it's got a link. Download of WAMP will start in three seconds, and should be starting any minute, really. Um, okay, so just I'm just going to say save. Okay, right on mine, I will use Vivaldi, and and there it's off. So anyway, I'll come back when that's uh, when that's downloaded. Um, you just download it and install it exactly like you do everything. So what I'll do is um, I'll do the download like everything else and the uh, installing. And after that, I'll show you how to how to uh, get your web pages actually to uh, be seen by one server. So I'll come back later. At the top of my desktop uh, icon, one server, this pink thing here. So if you just click that, and down here on the taskbar, oops, that just uh, that's okay. You'll see here down on the taskbar, um, red for just not that down, red for when it's not online, okay, and that should change to amber, and then green, okay. So there you have, if you can see it better, there. So this here red amber green just like a traffic light okay so this is where the fun starts really if you load that okay you'll see uh, different things like my sql php apache directory localhost okay all right if you go to the uh, uh, triple w there so what that is is in your operating system okay so here is, um, go to, and uh, mine is this PC, then OS, then WAMP64. That's how I've got it. Okay. So all your documents that you want to look at, um, your PHP documents and stuff, go in this folder, www. Okay. So here, for example, it's um, index PHP. So if you just loaded that up, um, you'll see what happens. Okay, so that's PHP. So what you're doing, um, this obviously isn't right. So you can load the browser up. And I know the, uh, on mine it's got, when you install it, it says um, um, Internet Explorer as your default, but that's basically irrelevant really. Um, we just go w, w dot uh, local host um, 
and then try that. Okay. So here's what you see when when you actually you know that it's working now because it's actually come up with something. If if that wasn't working, it wouldn't do anything. So here at the top, this is an important thing because you can get really confused here because um, you can put all sorts of the the address that you think it is, but the www localhost and that does the rest. Okay, as long as you've got an index file, that'll do the rest. So if we want to do this, um, for example, in a real website, okay, um, I've just got, so I'll just go and get some mine or one of mine anyway. So just get websites and I've got this here, which is a WordPress site. And I've got to admit, I don't use it very often. Um, Oh dear, seems to have frozen. Okay, so just copy that. Okay. And we'll go into uh, here. So you got your WAMP64. That's what you're looking for. Okay. And www. All right. And then you just like, you just uh, paste that in there, your website. And you can by default put your website so php into this particular uh, folder anyway and a lot of people that and don't get us wrong this server is an absolute necessity um in a lot of cases uh, on on your desktop a lot of people get mixed up that the server is going to be identical to the one that's actually online and it's not and, and i can prove that um even some developers think, oh, you know, that's the it's the holy grail. It's not. There's there's definite differences. Um, but this has taken uh, a bit longer than I expected, so I'll just knock that one down for now and find something that's going to be uh, a little shorter, a bit of a smaller website because um, WordPress does take a, an absolute uh, load of time. Okay, I just put in. Uh, Put Ivan Petrotsky there. Okay, copy. Uh, one again, 64, and back to your WW. Okay, and again, just paste that. Okay, so if now your obviously you're not um, your website's not going to be called Ivan Petrotsky, but uh, so what we'll do there is we just go localhost okay and forward slash ivan pet rot ski okay so there we are see this is what happens this website's all over the place but that's irrelevant um so now you know that the uh the work and and this is because it's got an index file, okay? It's got an index file, and that's what you that's what you're needing. Um, so this basically is how you use uh, your WAMP server. It's it's basically what you what you have online. Um, but but the local host, that's all you need. You don't need anything else. Just the name of the website, and the rest is taken care of by that. And you can use any browser you want. Um, Although it says when you're installing it, it, it could be um, Internet Explorer is the one I used for um, the uh, default, but that's irrelevant. Um, but this is so many people, and I've done it myself, where of getting the web address on um, on my local server all messed up, and this is the easy way to do it. Um, again, you might not use PHP a lot. But it will come up sometime if you're using contact forms um, and all that stuff. And again, if you're using WordPress, um, I can. If anybody's interested, I can actually go into the whole WordPress thing of databases and all the rest of it. Um, and because when you're using WordPress, you're really when you're online and on the fly, it's very, it's not that easy to um, edit. But when you when you've like got it on your desktop. Again, I have a poor internet connection, um, so sometimes 
you know, I kind of get online. But when you've got your website down, you know, on, on your local server, you can then just edit it um, very easily, really. So anyway, I hope uh, I hope you've learned something from this. And again, uh, thanks everyone for watching and listening.